Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Ash in patch 3.3. Now, Ash has not really changed too much in terms of her build and her runes, but I still feel like Ash is at least an S tier champion in this patch. She doesn't do too much in terms of damage output compared to like a Lucian, a Draven, Zaya, other champions like that, but it's her crowd control that makes her really, really strong. She has slows from auto attacks, slows from her second ability. She also has the enchanted crystal arrow her ultimate which can go across map and you also have your third ability to get a little bit of vision especially on objectives which obviously objectives are really really important in this game especially with the new elemental dragons in terms of the build you have man immune as your first item man immune means that you're not going to be that strong in the early game most of the time with ash you just want to poke a little bit with your volley your second ability and just farm up as many minions as possible because ash is a very good scaling late game champion so Man Immune still gives you, you know, attack damage, still gives you a lot of ability haste, which is really good for Ash, means you can keep spamming your abilities. But the mana is the most important part. Having a lot of mana with Ash, meaning you can spam your second ability as much as possible, is really nice. Your second ability kind of works as like a zoning tool because it slows so much. It covers a wide area as well. Pretty much covers the whole river when it's at maximum rank. So it's really, really nice to make sure that you can spam this ability as much as possible and also make sure that you pretty much have unlimited mana. So you have the ability haste and you also have the mana with mana immune, which are two really, really important stats for Ash. You then have Storm Razor as the second item. You can go for Infinity Edge as the second item, but you won't really benefit from the extra um, crit damage or anything from Infinity Edge. So Storm Razor as your second item, attack damage, crit rate, and attack speed, all really, really nice stats for Storm Razor, uh, for Storm Razor and for Ash. You also have the Energized Passive, which to be honest, the energized passive is like okay, but your auto attack's already slow, so it's not really too bad. I believe it still does stack on top of each other, so it's just an extra slow on top of your slows from your auto attacks. But being able to get that little bit of extra bonus um, and magic damage is also very nice. And you also slow for a little bit more for an extra 0.5 seconds. So really good for kiting, really, really good for chasing down enemies as well, because you already have so many slows in your kit. So Storm Razor just adds on top of that for the boots boots of fura is really good for ad carries right now especially someone like ash that doesn't have any mobility boots of fura every single time you auto attack you basically gain a little bit of extra movement speed on honestly really really nice making sure that you benefit a lot from the rage passive but obviously the rage passive means that you won't be able to build any phage items like black cleaver um trinity force items like this because it doesn't add up it's a unique passive meaning that rage will only work for the boots if you go trinity force then that means it will just cancel itself out and it'll only be one rage passive so you're basically missing out on the boots if you do want to go trinity force and you can go for other boots instead you can maybe go for mercury treads um, which are really really good or even play to steel caps if you're against a full ad comp and in terms of boots upgrade protobel is normally the best option as i just mentioned ash doesn't have any mobility at all so getting a little bit of an extra dash from protobel is really nice and also stasis is really good if you're against a lot of assassins as i briefly mentioned infinity edge as your next item attack damage crit rate a crit still more damage as well i honestly don't know how the uh, interaction works with infinity edge i believe the infinity passive from infinity edge it still works it still does extra damage but it's a bit weird because ash's crits don't actually deal extra damage they just allow her passive to slow more from auto attack so I'm not really too sure how that interaction works exactly. I think it's a little bit of a confusing interaction. I believe it still does extra damage because it's the damage part and it's not actually the crit rate that's going up. I believe it's just the crit damage that's going up. So being, being, being able to deal 30 more, 30% uh, more damage with your crits are really, really nice. But obviously, you're not going to be dealing that much in terms of crit damage anyway because... Uh, Kai, um, Kaiser? I was going to say Kaiser. Been taking Kaiser too much. Uh, Ash doesn't really benefit a lot from uh, dealing crit damage. It's mainly to do with her slows. Then you have Mortal Reminder. Now, if the enemy team is building a lot of armor, you can go for Mortal Reminder earlier as maybe the third item, uh, making sure you get the, as much uh, early armor penetration as possible. And also, you have a lot of attack damage. Also, can also apply a Grievous Wounds. Grievous Wounds means that it will reduce the healing of the enemy champion. So again, really, really nice. And then your last item is Runa's Hurricane. Runa's Hurricane works extremely well for Ash, especially her passive. With her passive, as I mentioned already, it allows her auto attacks to slow. And the great thing about Runa's Hurricane is the passive wins fury. So attack strike two additional nearby enemies, each dealing 40% damage. And these strikes can critical strike and trigger on hit effects, meaning that Runa's Hurricane will work with excuse me, Runa's Hurricane will work with the passive from Ash. So really, really nice, really, really strong. You kind of get 
AoE slows from your second ability and also your auto attacks when you have Runes Hurricane. So really, really nice item to go for. For the Runes, Lethal Tempo is extremely good for Ash. The stacking attack speed is so, so strong. And the stacking attack speed mean, means you don't have to build that much attack speed in your build because you're going to be getting a lot of attack speed from Lethal Tempo. Now with the slows from Ash with the auto attacks, means that you won't really get out of range of auto attack, um, won't really get out of auto attack range from enemy champions. You just keep auto attacking, keep applying the slow, keep applying the stacks of lethal tempo when you reach maximum stacks that's exactly the same time that you're going to get the maximum stacks from the first ability so you're going to be needing a lot of damage with your first ability with the fury of attacks you're also going to be having a lot of attack speed from lethal tempo so it just works really really well for ash as a rune making sure that you just can just deal as much damage as possible weakness actually works with pretty much everything on ash works with her auto attacks whether it works with her second ability works with her ultimate as well really really good unique rune for ash normally you don't really use this on ad carries but honestly a really really nice unique rune for ash if you don't want to go for weakness if you feel like it's not benefit you benefiting you a lot then hunt of vampirism is still you know the go-to for ad carries but i quite like weakness I like when weakness is pretty good being able to deal five percent more damage to champions it's quite nice nullifying orb as always scales really well with the extra ad uh, bonus ad sorry that you build in this build Gives you a little bit of a shield when you drop low on health and it also scales well into the mid and late game. And as I mentioned already, ability haste is really important for Ash. So go and hunt a genius, making sure that you get even more ability haste so you can use your uh, abilities, especially your volley more often is really, really important. And then for the summer spells, we have flash and exhaust. So yeah, like I said, not really much has changed in terms of the build for Ash, but I feel like Ash is still one of the strongest champions at the moment in Wild Rift in the dual lane. So if you haven't already, very, very nice beginner friendly champion if you want to give her a try let me know what you think of her down in the comments and as always enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you all in the next wilder video peace ash gaming We are Ash Gaming. Do I need Blade Rune King this game? Oh, I do. I definitely do. Hmm. I use exhaust a little bit too early there. I think I use exhaust a little bit too early. Fair play, Alistair. That's kind of clean. That was kind of clean, Alistair. Fair play, well played.
Interesting that Shivana came into lane when she was so low. Not too sure what she was doing. I got so dizzy there. I was trying to find Storm Razor. It took me forever to just find one item. So good, Siobhan is getting stacks. Kind of unlucky. Turns slowly. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. <laughs> exhaust meta is exhausting for assassins. Um... I like that. Exhaust meta is exhausting. The calories. I like that. I like that. I told him just the ground. I love exhaust. Of course you love exhaust at ADC. I love exhaust as well. <laughs> nice champ. I'm playing the nice champion.
I'm playing a nice balanced champion. Slowly. I don't even know if I go blade of drinking this game, you know. Actually, you know what's insane? These boots of furrow, which is basically boots of swiftness. The extra movement speed and kiting that you can get from this is kind of nuts. I'm going to have mortal reminder, I think. I think I definitely need the anti-heal. Actually, I might just get the anti-heal for it. I think it's definitely a Blade of Ring Kingdom game, though, because they have Shivana and Renekton. Be really good for that. I need to see you snipe across map. Why do I need to snipe across map when I can just snipe in front of me and just kill him? Easy. And my cross map sniping is probably not that great. I'll be totally honest. Hey, man, I mean, it's fully stacked. Man immune is fully stacked. I have a method? Wait, you have a method? What about cross map? Boom! You know what? It was useless, but it was cross map. There you go. I got it for you, Dienzio. I got you, brother. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Hey, what's up, Leon? We're not going 24 hours, but I might go quite long. Looks like Ash is still broken, guys. Enemy well, destroyed. I don't know about broken, but this is the thing now. It's like lethal tempo AD carries can kind of start to come back in the meta because Conqueror is not really a thing. A well, it's not that it's not a thing, but like lethal cham tempo champions have enough time to stack up. It's quite nice. Nice, no, not fast enough. I think not fast enough. Did you know there's a crazy Barrister that had zero cooldown on his cute weight? Really? Is that why they had to nerf it? I have not seen that build, I'll be totally honest with you. 
<laughs> I have no idea. They don't have a squidly do what's going on. Now, Siobhan is just casually taking blue buff. I went a little bit too far there. Limit testing again. <laughs> I didn't know that. I would have spammed the hell of it. Okay. Bug abuser. Bug abuser. Nice bug abuser, DMZO. <laughs> I can send you a clip on this clip on Discord. Yeah, send it, send it, bro. Not bad, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. 